It's an actual fabric that they cut, sewed, and shaped to make the wings of the 1903 flyer. Go. That is so cool. This is it. This is the 1902. A new curbs the wings and a movable rudder instead of a fixed tail makes this glider a winner. 26 seconds, 622 feet. So this is the evolution here. The kite, the glider, the glider, and then the final glider. Look, over four years, they iterated year after year after year, taking their learnings. It's amazing. New Look at that. This is an exact replica the Wright brothers made to make their flight. Problem number two, control. Elevator here, control the pitch. The hip cradle here controlled the roll, roll. and the yaw. And the rudder controls the yaw. And the wings, flexible structure. Roll, banking side to side. Pitch, moving up and down. Yep. And then yaw, we're going left to right. You're learning everything, Kay. If you're into aviation and you want to hear about an epic story that changed the world, you have to check out the Wright Brothers Memorial where we are right now. In Kitty Hawk, Outer Banks. You can see an actual replica of the plane. You can also see these stones that mark the different attempts of them flying, right? Mm -hmm. this, this is the starting point. Okay, so this is the starting point. And then the first marker, that's where they landed the first time. Yep. Second marker where they landed second. Third, third time and then, and then the, the fourth, fourth is all the way over there so the wright brothers made four successful sustained powered flights the morning of december 17 1903 liftoff is here first was 12 seconds 12 seconds 15 seconds and then 59 well, what's more seconds impressive though is not just how long but the distance right mm -hmm. it's 120 feet 175 200 and then all the way 852. That means they were able to better control the engine. So, visitor center is there. Yeah. And what are these cabins? These are the, the hangars where they would put the uh, the gliders and planes that they would be testing on. Very cool. And then behind us is this beautiful memorial on top of a hill, Hill Devil Hill, where we think that's where they would test out the kites, initial kites. Yeah, the gliders. And yeah. The gliders. But this is it. You're standing in history, KK, right here. <laughs> Without the Wright Brothers KK, we would not be able to travel yeah, and enjoy day, yeah. and explore the world. We're at the Wright Brothers Memorial and it's only fitting to see a plane fly above you. It's one thing to read about it, it's one thing to watch it, but it's another thing to actually stand at the boulder where the first flight took place. The National Aeronautics Association dedicated the first flight boulder the takeoff point of the first flight. That's absolutely incredible. And then you see all the other boulders, the first one, second one, third, fourth, one, two, three, four. That marks the different landing points. After four years of scientific research and rigorous experimentation, and with the 1903 flyer on the rail, the Wrights are set to fly. In unison, they each pull down a propeller, the engine roars to life, and the propellers whip through the air. Only a restraining wire keeps the flyer in place. Orville climbs onto the machine and positions himself into the hip cradle. He releases the restraining wire and the machine slowly moves forward. Wilbur runs alongside to steady the machine. After traveling 40 feet down the rail, the flyers lift into the air, ushering in the age of flight. Starting right there. Go that way. So this, once upon a time, used to be a massive sand dune, but there's grass on it because in starting in 1929 they were building this memorial in honor of the wright brothers so they planted the grass to stabilize sand dune to erect what we see before us this is so epic well they did thousands of times they hiked up the sand dune in order to lie down and test all the different iterations of their planes wow test climb fly carry Test, climb, fly, repeat. Climb, climb, test, fly, 
time. Test. Test. Bye. Bye. Repeat. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. That's quite a hill to carry though. Oh a whole glider. Another attraction of this park is this wonderful memorial that you can actually climb and it not only memorializes the brothers but also the community and the local volunteers that work together with them to make the first flight possible. Another fun fact, if it's a sweltering day, sit on the plane because Kiki said it's nice and cool. Well, we have overcast sky right now and then the shadow from the, the wings. Oh yeah, this is nice. And you can see the propellers here. Life-size replica, look at that. All right, time to climb up to the top of this memorial. Let's see how long it takes us. Steep. Ooh, it is pretty, pretty steep. Imagine having to walk up the sand dune. Yeah. With the plane. With a glider. Oh my god. And do it over and over and over again. Without a doubt, though, this has been such an amazing surprise. For people like us who love to travel, it's easy to take it for granted. But that's only possible after grit, hard work and four years of grueling, grueling persistence to make it happen. <laughs> Dreams are possible. All right, let's see. We did it. About three minutes. Three minutes. Check this out. Each side has engravings of wings. In the front, you see the word genius. And then you go up, you see two wings on either side into the air. KK, the views are amazing. <sighs> They're incredible. This is, I think, the best place in the whole Outer Banks to come to for an epic 360 view. Yeah. All right, KK, we did it. This is amazing. All right, time to go.